Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Car X Drift Racing 2 with Broghammer Auto House. Today's episode is going to be just a little bit different. We're going to talk about all the cars that you should stay away from. Um, these are cars that I've experienced a lot of trouble with in the past, and um, after purchasing them and upgrading them to Pro Drift 3, they just didn't work. And I know it. a lot of it has to do with tuning, um, but I tend to tune a lot of my cars, and some of these were just either underpowered or had issues. And um, so I just want to talk about it. I have two cars from each tier. So I'm going to start with tier one, work my way up to tier five, and uh, I'm going to talk about pretty much the two cars from each tier that you should stay away from and buy something else. Um, this is hopefully going to help save some money and, you know, help you guys optimize where you're spending your money on upgrading certain cars. So in tier one, I got to start it off with the VZ210. This car is small and it drifts okay. It's not terrible, but it does not have enough power. I know it's tier one, so they in general have a lot less power. Um, but man, this thing absolutely sucks. Don't buy it and don't upgrade it. You know, focus on the Bimmy P30 or the Hachi Roku or something like that. Very similar in performance, the Caravan G6. Now, this one I do have a couple engine swaps for and the car has gotten pretty good with the engine swaps in them. Um, I think I have the 2JZ, the 3.0 liter i6 turbo in this car. And it's a great, great drift car with that engine swap. Um, but if you don't have a swap for the car, certainly stay away from it with a stock motor. I could hardly get this thing to drift. It's too heavy with little power and it's just not worth your time. So certainly stay away from that one as well. We'll move on to tier two to kind of keep this moving pretty quick. Um, tier two, a lot of great cars in tier two. I, I love, you know, the Phoenix and the R33 and the JZX and all that stuff. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Midnight, which is a um, Nissan 240Z or Datsun 240Z, um, one and the same. And this thing, I just can't figure out. Um, now I have an engine swap in it, it performs a lot better. Um, but with the stock motor and everything, uh, I just felt like it was really twitchy and it, it wasn't performing well. I know these you know, little descriptors probably aren't helping you a ton, but it's certainly a car that I would say to stay away from in tier two. There's so many other great options in tier two that uh, I, I just wouldn't waste my time. You know, go for an R33, go for the Phoenix NX, um, even the Black Fox or the RX-7. There's so many good options. Don't waste your time on the Midnight. And to compile that up, don't waste your time on the Thunderstrike. Um, I know a couple people last time when I made a video similar to this uh, hated on me for saying that I didn't like the Thunderstrike. But you guys, with the stock power at 612 horsepower with Pro Drift 3, it just doesn't do it. I think I went to a way smaller rear tire. Um, the width is almost hardly anything because the weight distribution and everything, it just didn't work. I'm looking forward to getting that 7.0 V8 swap. I just need one more crate for that. Um, but another one, stay away. There's a lot of good cars in tier two. Tier three, um, there's a couple here that I really don't like. Um, the Warrior is one, it's very similar to the Thunderstrike. It's a heavy American muscle car. It doesn't drift right. It's like, uh, I don't know if it's front heavy and the rear is too loose, but it's another car. Stay away from it. I don't enjoy driving it. Um, so just be cautious of that. Again, another tier that has fantastic cars. You know, go for the Horizon GT4. Even the Glorious XZ is really, really good. Um, there's a lot of good ones. The other one is the Sorrow. Um, this is the SC300 in real life, but um, it's another car that just doesn't work. I don't know if it's the physics that they put in with the car or how they designed it, but man, this thing is probably my top worst car on the game overall. That's saying a lot. It's really close with uh, one of the cars in tier four, but I don't know what it is. I upgraded this thing fully when I first got it like four or five months ago and it was trash. I couldn't tune it. I couldn't make it work. It just didn't have the power. It's under 500 horsepower with Pro Drift 3. Um, you know, with an engine swap, 
it's probably gonna be a lot better, but I haven't even touched it because I just don't want to. It left a sour taste in my mouth for sure. Tier four, you know, obviously I say this a lot, but there's a lot of great cars in tier four, the Spectre RS being probably my favorite one in tier four. Um, but the one that really threw me off, again, these American muscle cars, the Comeric, um, something about it just doesn't feel right. It's the power delivery, you know, it's got some decent power, but I think they're just too heavy is what it comes down to. And maybe my tunes just don't work for heavier cars, but stay away from the Comeric. You'll thank me later. And if you have a fantastic tune for it that you think is absolutely amazing, post it in the Discord. I'd be happy to look it over and see if maybe that changes my mind, but um, it's something else. And if you haven't joined the Discord, guys, there's a ton of people posting their vehicle tunes um, in the cartoon section of the Discord channel, so be sure to check that out. Brogue Auto House um, is the Discord channel. Uh, the other car here is unfortunately the Siberia SWI, um, the Subaru. I think to be honest, in most drifting games that I've played with Subarus, they're just not designed to drift. They're designed to be rally cars, to be off-roaders, you know, um, racing around or, or track racing cars with their all-wheel drive system. Obviously for this game, they're rear-wheel drive, but uh, something's off. The balance, I don't know. I'm gonna back that up even in tier five. My least favorite car in tier five is the Siberia WDC. Now it's a Subaru hatchback, um, and with the engine swap, you know, it's kind of fun. It whips around. It's got a short wheelbase. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Frederick Osbo's Corolla hatchback that he used to have that now Ryan Turk drives in Formula Drift. Um, but certainly one I would stay away from. You know, the Loki M4 or 4M is great. The Elganto is great. The Atlas GT is great. Spider. All these cars on Tier 5 are so, so good. And my final, final one is the Grace GT. I think I got this in an event a while back. And as much as I'd love to say it's an amazing car, it's you know designed behind uh, one of Daigo Saito's um, designs that he actually made in real life um, over in Japan. And they look sweet, but the balance, the, the weight distribution, something's off. It has tons of power, um, 804 horsepower, but um, I don't know if it's you know lag between shifting that's messing me up or something, but this car just can't bring it together. So um, I know it's kind of a quicker video for you guys today, but let me know what you think. Um, did these match up with the cars that you also don't like? Do you absolutely love one of the cars that I hate? Let me know because uh, I'm, I'm interested in hearing some more about it and kind of getting interested in you know, what tunes you guys are running on them to make them perform well. Um, I'm obviously, I've got an issue with the American muscle cars. I can't figure out the tunes for those dang things and um, if you guys have a solution, let me know. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it if you enjoyed the video today. Um, I make videos like this often um, once a week, one of these. And then I also do the Friday drift competitions where I give away a free hat. So be sure to check those out. Otherwise, put your life in drive. We'll see you next time.